here. I can't get anywhere. Crutches. Can't drive. Can't get to school. Hey, Ben. Uh, Jared? How you doing? Ooh, you aren't looking so hot there. No, I hurt my leg and I can't drive and I can't get to school, so I can't really teach my students. <laughs> I bet they're really upset about that. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, well, hey, what you, are know, you? you can always borrow my robot. What is it? Well, this is called a double robot, and it has an iPad for a head and a Segway for feet. It lets me go wherever it goes. And you don't actually have to be here? No, no. Well, right now I'm not with you, am I? Well, I like that. <laughs> That's funny. So what you can see here is this is called a telepresence robot, and what it allows me to be able to do is uh, really remote in to any location. And, and while most people may say, well, why wouldn't I just do a webinar or Skype? What you can see is it gives me the full mobility, which <laughs> apparently you don't really have right now. No, but this would be great because then I could go up to each one of my students and have a conversation with them. Well, and it's really great for your students, too, because imagine if one of your students is out, and of course they really would want to make sure that they don't miss your class, you could actually have them join as the robot and really be able to interact and work with their peers. Huh. You as a robot, who would have thought it? Well, let's take a look at some other ways that we can help students who can't actually get to school. A robot may not necessarily be in your budget or it may not be the technology that you need to be able to meet with colleagues or with students. There are some really great tools that are available that are free that really center more around the webinar based operations of using telepresence or video conferencing. The first that I'm going to show with you here is, is a uh, tool called Zoom. And Zoom has many different versions. There's free versions, there are um, meeting room versions, there's webinar versions, and there's even conference level versions for really over a thousand attendees if that's something that you might need. As you can see there's a really nice console that allows you to schedule your meetings, join meetings, review your meetings, but most significantly when you're in a meeting you can see it has all of the robust features that you can imagine or expect from uh, a nice webinar tool. So you'll notice that you can obviously unmute yourself or start your video with you if you have a webcam. Invite uh, attendees right in the middle of the webinar or the, the meeting that you might be joining. You can manage your participants, which is really nice if you have students coming into class, you can mute them all on the way in, and then even make sure that you mute them all whenever they come in immediately, playing a nice chime when they come in. You can lock screen sharing so that they can't just automatically start sharing their screen without your permission. And with that said, what's great about these types of tools is that you can share your screen so that students can see that and, uh, and demonstrate, uh, or you can demonstrate what it is that you'd like them to be monitoring. There's also great chat tools that you can send to everyone or just individuals in the group. And finally, you can record meetings in Zoom so that those students that may have missed an opportunity would be able to go back later and actually access it. Now another great tool is uh, right within Google you can use appear.in and what you'll notice with appear.in is that just like uh, back channeling tools like today's uh, meet you can actually go in and you know we talked about telepresence as being the topic for today and you can start a meeting that is for up to eight people for free with no login and no installs so as soon as you start this meeting it's going to give you or it's going to uh, access your webcam and as soon as it does that it's going to ask you if that's okay and now anybody that is joining the appear.in telepresence meeting room would be able to get in there and have an eight person web based no plugins no installers no nothing web based tool to be able to join the room that they actually or that you have set up so there's some great tools great power in these tools so whether it is something a little more robust software based like zoom or appear.in for those quick startup no plugins required type of meetings. Either way, you will have the opportunity to join students, join with experts in the field, and give opportunities outside of the four walls of your classroom that otherwise not, might not have been able to happen. Wow, thanks Jared for showing me how we can help students who can't actually get there and teachers too. Well, you know, honestly, we want to make sure that we give all the opportunities for all of our students. And with so many different um, issues that students may have uh, that they won't be able to come to school, this certainly allows us to be able to be flexible and personalized learning just to their needs. And the best thing of all, I'll never have to see you in real life again. Thanks, Ben.